I'm going to show you something a bit different, but still involving a timeline. So let's just put that over there. Let's grab a microchip. So first off, uh, let's let's say we had like some traffic lights or something. Uh, is it red up there and green down there? Yellow in there, something like that. Um, and then different ones of them are glowing or something. So you can put logic in these timelines. It's the first thing to know. So uh, let's yeah, you know, glow like that. And we have another one for yellow, and they kind of have this pattern, right, to go through. And do that. Uh, or rather, that would that would be most of the time it will glow, and then and then while it's doing some other signal, it goes to off like that. And for this one, we'll have a there you go timer. About how long is that? Two, is that two seconds? That'll be fine. Uh, and we set it to positional, which means it uses the the value coming in as the like desired value it wants to be at. So if you play time and I put it to 100, then it will try to get to 100. Put it down there, then it will go and stop to there. See, a selector has uh, many channels up to 10. You can set the number of channels up here, um, all labeled A to J, and they all numbered 0 through 9 uh, because that's a computer way of doing it. And you can set which um, which is the active one, which is like lit like this, and the lit one will send out a signal. Um, and only one of them can be active at any one time. So, uh, but what we can also do is get this active port um, and use that. Oh, we need the cochlear pack. So this sends out the zero to nine value. So when it's this is active, it will send a zero. When that's active, it will send a 1 and so on. So we can use that. And we'll have 0, 1, 2, 3 positions. Oh, so 4 positions because 1 will be the 0. And we divide that by 3. Okay, and um, for now we'll just use a, a switch here to test. So um, let's put that up there. Uh, plug that in. Okay. So this this uh, is going to send a signal to next, which means it goes from A to B. So like that, and then to C, and then to D, and then it will wrap round to zero again. And you can see that's affecting the playhead just as before. But um, we really want to send like specific uh, values. Um, we want to send a zero, and then we want to send a one, and then we want to send a two, so it goes all the way to the end, or a three even. So. So we use a different feature of this. So we want pass through on. Pass through means if you if you're sending a value to A, then when A is active, it will send whatever it's receiving out the other side. So that's kind of what we want. We want to have. Let's turn that off. And first one should be zero. That's like the first state we want. 
and then the next state would be 1 and then the next state would be 3 at the end like that no, did the wrong thing ok so now that's 3 pass through so uh, then we can send those values into there we don't need that extra one and we can get a switch again and just loop through those so um, if you watch that we can see what value is coming out of these so um, we're going to use set the active port using the act active port sending in a value to it so uh, we'll use a counter uh, and this counter has just these three options so we can so that's 0 1 and 2 and we can send that the current count into the active port like that and then that will set when it's sending a 0 it will set it to A when it's sending a 1 it will set it to B and so on um, so you can actually see that if I go like that. So we'll be doing that, but with some just a um, switch that increases it like that, and then it can't go past the end. Um, but we want to, uh, yeah, we'll get this this part figured out first. Um, Okay, so it's on zero, and then it's up to one, and then it will stay red as long as the playhead's stuck there. And then next one, it goes all the way to the end. When it gets to the end, we're going to reset the timer, and when the timeline ends, we're going to reset that, like that. So now it will play through to the first notch, and then play through to the end. Once it gets to the end, it will just reset everything so we're back to the beginning and we're, the cars can go because it's green and all is well with the world. Like that. So that's, that's like a fully working traffic light.